Hello everyone. Uh, Messi. We are so thankful to God to have this time to share the word. Before sharing the word of God, uh, let me pray. Father, thank you for this evening. We are happy because you always provide this time for us to listen to the word. So we are people who can uh, live without having the word of God in our hand. Because we are weak, uh, we cannot sustain our life. We cannot sustain our life. So we hope that through the word of God, He will continuously give us the new uh, strength, the new power. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. Today uh, we read the book of Luke chapter 5 from verse 1. The book of Luke, chapter 5, from verse 1. So it was as the multitude blessed about him to hear the word of God that he stood by the lake of Genezareth. Yes, And he saw two boats standing by the lake, but the fishermen had gone from them and were washing their nets. Then he got into one of the boats, which was Simon's, and asked him to put out a little from the land. And he sat down and he taught the multitudes from the boat. When he had stopped speaking, he said to Simon, Launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. But Simon answered and said to him, Master, we have toiled all night and caught nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net. Simon Ramusuzati, that I wish at Quachesher to Kurajan, and Yaman Nachat Kafash, and Kokovi Vuze, and Zhukunyu. And when they had done this, they caught a great number of fish, and their net was breaking. That because of a Tiffinian Chan, and that's the ancient Razals in the Buchiko. So they sent, they sent. Uh, to their partners in the other boat to come and help them and they came and filled both the boats so that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees Saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. Uh, yes, we have read up to verse 8. Uh, people who truly believe in God and those who uh, don't believe in God accurately, they use the Bible. 
abantu bose bizera imana byukuri na bizera imana gusa bakoresha bibiliya those who don't believe in god clearly they think that they are in the right way kusana batizera imana nyabyo batekereza ko bari mu nzira y'ukuri so why they think like this ese niki gituma bibwira bakya do they have they do they have no peace in the heart no one have more after mu mutima they only have worries and fear ese munje nje n'urwobo but why do they think that they are believing god way ese niki kibatera kutekereza ko bizera imana neza not they are suffering being tortured by sin they are no gicha gikomeza kuba babaza no kubatoteza mu mutima so actually being like this is no problem Uh, wonde kumeza kutyara kibazo abinga uh, sina having worries kwa bunya cha wae wana ni mungenge this is not a problem at all ibyo gabyo si kibazo because the true spiritual life begins from there eh kwera kuzima bunuka nubundi ni ho buhera but there is a problem for those kind of people ariko ari kibazo kiba ku bantu mwabo so they only focus on one side na sanga bita ku ruhande rumwe gusa so they don't think why they live such kind of life though they believe in god ni bajya bibaze impamvu babusiba nkubwo nubwo bizera imana so it just seems like they know bible na bisana abazi bibiliya even some of them they teach a bible ni bamwe muri bo bigisha na bibiliya the way they understand bible is totally different from the plan of god because if we believe in the bible according to how the heart of god is so for sure we can live peaceful life so we can overcome fear and condemnation no has kwanesho go wano kuchira witeka mu mitima yacu but those people they are caught with the idea to think that i'm doing well ari ka ntaba baratwandi gitekerezo cyo kwimira ngo byemeze neza so these these people they have uh, no second idea to think that i can be wrong bena wana kindi gitekerezo bagira cyo kwibwira bati nshobora kwibeshya so since they Uh, decided in their hands to be right where are our worry mention mitima ya okora banyakuri they don't need to think and see in different way na waje watekereza ngo barebe mu yindi nguni they don't need to check how they are living if is truly uh biblical waje waje nzira ngo barebe nimuko ba uko baba uko kubishingiye kuri bibiri but if you really want to live your spiritual spiritual life well so there is something you have to know so i think to realize that everyone can be wrong no one is perfect na muno no mutunga 100% So once people have this idea yeah they can begin to check their spiritual life is if it is truly uh, biblical but people they are unable to reach here they always say that they are right they are doing well they are believing in god well so since they don't think that they can be wrong at any time that's why their spiritual life is too hard and difficult Actually, the way God prepared the spiritual life for us it is not difficult at all. Because it is something God did and perfected and gave, her, gave it to us. So it is something we receive from God. 
It is not something you can be born with. It is the gift from God. So that is the true spiritual life. But since people and they are caught by the thought of the devil, their spiritual life is too difficult because they cannot check and see their spiritual life in different angles. So uh, that's the reason why some of them they die with sin. But God does not want anyone to die in sin. So if God wants to save you, if God wants you to be righteous, who would do it? So God who wants it will do it. But why people think they have to do it, they have to be responsible. It's because they didn't realize their true image biblically. They didn't see their weakness, how they are weak according to the Bible. They just keep trying following their own thoughts. So you know the reason why God prepared and uh, this spiritual life for us. It is because God who is a creator, he knew that man cannot perfect his spiritual life. Because man is not good, but is evil. So what is good which can come from a bad person? So if I'm bad, if I'm evil, also something from me is evil. So this is what you have to know. But people they think they, they can produce something good. Why do people think in this way? It is because they live with their thoughts thinking that they are good. Even though they see themselves committing mistakes every day, they don't care much about that. They just think that ah, today, I did a mistake. Uh, I have done a mistake. Uh, but it, it is just a small issue. Uh, it was just an accident. Uh, I don't even, I don't live like this normally. So what I know, I'm good and I believe in God. So I can ask forgiveness uh, from God because of this mistake I have done. So they, they, think, they think that after asking forgiveness of sin, so uh, God has forgiven all the mistakes they have done. So they think that this is how they can uh, bring back their relationship between them and God. But when we read the Bible, it's completely different from that. The Bible shows and teaches that man is evil. When the man is evil. Is man evil when he commits sin? No. The Bible does not say like that. Man is evil not even when he didn't do a mistake. This is what the Bible says. But when people, they, they, they didn't do a mistake, they think that they are angels. 
So we judge ourselves outwardly. But what God does, He judges us inwardly. God checks everyone's heart and judges human beings. So there is no one who has a different heart from another. Because our hearts comes from the devil. So we are born from Adam. And Adam was deceived by Satan. So Adam received this heart of the devil. So since we are from Adam, we are also born with this heart of Adam, which is the heart of the devil. So whether we understand or whether we accept or not, this is how it is. We cannot change this fact. So because of this heart, no human being cannot change. So sometimes when this heart is not producing evil thoughts, evil ideas, evil actions, people they think they are good. But because people they think seem to be an action. This is where they start their spiritual life. But sin is not an action. Because action is the fruit of sin. So when we read the book of Romans chapter 7, can we discuss? Verse 18. Verse 18. Romans chapter 7, verse 18. For I know that in me, that is in my flesh, nothing good dwells. For to will is present with me, but how to perform what is good, I do not. I do not find it. So when we understand the word Because even if you may understand only this verse in the Bible, this is this can be the true foundation of your spiritual life. So I want to repeat this verse once again. For I know that in me, that is in my flesh, nothing good dwells. For to will is a present with me, but how to perform that is good, I do not find. So in, in me means in my flesh nothing good dwells. So Bible is not talking about me only. Even in your heart, in you, in your flesh, you who we follow. In, you, in your flesh, there is nothing good dwells. But how do you think about yourself? So if you think that you can do something good to God, it is because you didn't believe in this verse. So when we preach the gospel, we don't Prevent people not to do good. Doing good is okay. But problem is, the Bible says that you can do good before God. Whose judgment are you going to follow? 
In the heart of God, that is how it is to remain so. The Bible can, God cannot forget that in my flesh there is nothing dwells. But how do people live their spiritual life? They pretend to produce something good and give it to God. Even they go to God and they report the good things they have done. If so, how can God accept your goodness? God does not know the goodness of man. If a man goes to God and bring his goodness, God cannot accept. Because my goodness, your goodness, is not the goodness to God in the eyes of God. So in our society where we live, do good. Because this goodness will come to you, will come back to you. If you do good for your neighbor, tomorrow your neighbor will uh, bring up that goodness to you. Even if he may not, uh, this goodness may not come back to you. It may come back to your children. Your grandchildren may come back to them. Just do good in the society. Because this will help you to live harmony in harmony with your neighbors. How about? Between the relationship between you and God. This is what we are talking about now today. Because many people they misunderstand that their relationship between them and their friends can be can be applied between them and God. But God is different for human beings. So God recorded this Bible so that being guided by this Bible can believe in Him well. So now the starting point, the starting uh, point of a spiritual life is to know that in my flesh there is nothing dwells there. So in the eyes of God, before God, there is nothing good dwells in my flesh. So this is what the Bible says. So what can I do? Can I have argument with God? God, how come you say that there is nothing good dwells in my flesh? Me, when I, as I live my life every day, my day life, I can see many, many, many good things. But we have to know that our eyes and the eyes of God are totally different. Because if God says that there is no goodness in man's flesh, so because when God compared the goodness of man and his own goodness, he realized that the goodness of man is very fake. This goodness cannot make man to stand before God. Because once you stand before God with your own goodness, you cannot be equal with God. It's impossible. 
the society will be more good than others. Even because of your kindness, you can be a leader. But this relationship is different from the relationship you can have with God. So this is what we have to realize. Actually, this is what Peter was unable to realize in his life. By the time he met Jesus, Peter was able to discover his secret. And from there, Peter started his ritual life. So when we, we have read the book of Luke, we have read the book of Luke chapter 5. So one day Jesus came at the, at the Sea of Genezareth. Here he was delivering the word to the multitude of people. So he saw two boats. And the seashore. And he stepped in one boat, which was Peter's boat. So, since this boat was a bit far from the land, so Jesus told him. Peter to push it about, uh, to push it a little bit. Yes, yes, Peter, So these boats were not being used. Because the fishermen were exhaust, exhausted. So since the fishermen were exhausted, so they were washing their nets. So even Peter was among them. So that is when Jesus uh, got the chance to use his boat. So uh, as the fishermen were washing their boats, uh, Jesus kept on preaching the word of God. Yes, So as the, as the delivering this word of God to them, so also uh, Peter was near them and Jesus called Peter Peter. so that they can uh, cast their names in the day. Peter. So you know, since Peter was exhausted, he was not willing to follow the word of Jesus. So this is what Peter said. But Simon answered and said to him, Master, we have told all night and caught nothing. Nevertheless, at your word I will let down the net. So you see, Peter was not willing to do according to the word of Jesus. Peter because he was holding his experience in his heart. According to his experience, what experience during night? He was not willing to step forward and but when Peter talked about it a bit, he decided to forsake his thoughts and did according to the word of Jesus. Peter was willing to do That is the reason now I say, nevertheless, at your word I will let down the net. So, when we see what happened after forsaking his post, they caught a lot of fish. Even they called their fellow 
fishermen to help them. Because their own boats was about to sink. So this is how they help one another. And they put those fish on the land. So what did Peter do after seeing this miracle? Peter was surprised. You know, Peter was supposed to uh, to be happy because they caught a lot of fish. But the reaction of Peter was different from what we can think. So Peter came to Jesus. He and he spoke to Jesus. Depart from me. Because I'm a sinful man. Oh Lord. Please, please depart from me. Many times I read this story. But I couldn't understand what Peter meant. Because when I checked the previous verses, I couldn't see. Sin, Peter did. There is no sin performed by Peter. Why Peter is saying he is a sinful man? But what Peter was able to discover was in his world of the heart. So he had never realized what was his word of the heart. But when he stood before Jesus, he was able to compare his heart with the heart of Jesus. When he compared his heart with Jesus' heart, he was able to see how this disgusting he was. You see, Peter was lived he, all his life trusting and believing in himself. So he knew that um, I'm able, I can. So I'm um, a person who has skills about fishing. I'm a person who feed my family from fishing. Uh, I'm able. I'm doing well. I can do it well. So Peter lived all his life trusting himself. Peter never thought about God. But this time, she was able to discover how evil it was. How foolish I was. So this is the reason why he said, Jesus, depart from me because I'm a sinful man. Jesus, I'm a person who is not worthy to talk to you. I'm a person who is not supposed to stand where you are. Please depart from me. I'm evil. There is nothing good dwells in my place. So this is what Peter discovered. So viewers, once we reach here, that is when we start the true spiritual life. But when did you reach here? Have you ever reached here, this place, or not? not? I don't know when you started you what you call your spiritual life. But what kind of life, spiritual life are you living? Are you living like Peter? Yes, If you are living like Peter before, to think that you are doing well, to think that you can keep the law, to think that you can love your neighbors yourself, please 
repent your heart as Peter did. And discover that in you, in your flesh, nothing dwells. So that you can receive the grace as Peter received. So when Peter discovered his dream, he was no longer interested about his by his family he was no longer being interested by fishing. So Peter was able to follow Jesus. Peter is a so when he followed Jesus, he was given the promise to be the fish of men. So anyway, even though Peter followed Jesus, yes. From time to time, he kept on following his rightful thoughts. But since he was together with Jesus, Jesus could rebuke him, chastise him, correct him, until Peter became the fish of man. But the starting point of the spiritual life of Peter began the time he discovered his image. Please discover your image according to the Bible. So from here you receive a lot of blessings from God. So I hope we acknowledge our weakness before God. So God will feel us. So thank you so much. Shall we speak up here? Let me pray. Father, thank you. According to the Bible, we are weak. We are lacking many things. But this is the reason to believe in you, Lord. Our evilness, our lackings, our weakness, it's no problem whenever we are together. We because you are ready to cover our weakness, you are ready to cover our evilness. So allow us all viewers to discover the true image. As Peter did the time he met Jesus. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. See you next time.